And welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube for some Soul Tie Control. All right, so we were going to play this deck uh, about four days ago and ran out of time. Hey, Hawkeye wants to come join us and say hi. Um, so we're going to get to it here. Uh, basically, what the point of this deck is is to try to go bigger than the other Soul Tie decks. You know, like there's a lot of Soul Tie in the format right now. And what we're trying to do here is you know, go bigger, you know, so we're using, you know, we're not playing um, Gilded Goose, so we're not going to have turn two Okos, but we got lots of, re lots of good removal, um, we got Discard, and we got a lot of Planeswalkers, real powerful top end effects, so we're just trying to go bigger, you know, like they're playing Nyssa, we're trying to clear all of their lands with Ritual of Soot, um, and so on, Casualties of War be a, a huge effect, and, and so on. So we'll see how it works out, um, but that's that's the goal of our deck to just be, be the bigger Soul Tie deck. Um, lots, you know, four Assassin's Trophy, efficient removal, um, and everything there. We got an Epic Downfall to exile Wicked Wolf in the main and in the sideboard because that could be a problematic one for sure there. So let's let's try it out. Let's see how it goes. Sultai Control. So we're going to go ahead and play over in Ranked. We've got Rank Up Sunday today. And we're going to play four matches. So now that field is gone, what would you replace Ashiok with in the mono black value sideboard? Um, probably like uh, drill bit or duress. If if there's not drill bits or duresses, I would get a good amount of those in there. So you want like discard. Basically, you'd want discard. You want removal for for aggro creatures. Um, you know, like legions ends, stuff like that. Legions end disfigure. Epic downfall is not a bad one to have access to. For Wicked Wolf. Um, and then, yeah, you want like Noxious Grasps. You want Planeswalker Removal, Noxious Grasp, Elder Spell. Those are very good as well. If you still have extra slots, after all of that, you can go with uh, Spyglass. There may be Spyglass already in there, but yeah, Spyglass shut down. Hmm. Liliana's good, but I don't really want another six mana card right now. I got rid of that card, didn't I? Revel with your king, wild and sovereign, and surely you must be famished. Oh, that's bad. That's bad for me. I was hoping they were going to have to, like, fay to go find that. And that was going to take them a little bit longer. How they they just didn't cast Fae of Wishes? Like what are they, what are they doing? Let's broaden your existence. How do they not cast Fave Wishes? Cry the Carnarium. Uh, yeah. Honestly, I should probably have Cry in the sideboard. That is true. That it's not poison. that uh, Cauldron Familiar has gotten a whole lot more po uh, popular recently um so yeah to deal with cauldron familiar cry the carnarium is is perfect there i don't really like it main deck because it's just for that like phoenix i i haven't hardly seen i haven't seen very much of the dredge phoenix deck and i think unmoored ego works very well against that deck 
Like I'm I'm good with just on more ego there. I'll show the strength. Let's try this. So I lose five life to draw a card. It's a lot of life. Ugh. I really wanted a land drop though. Really wanted a land drop. So I guess we're gonna We're definitely killing Narset. Like that's that's for sure happening. Your new look is enchanting. And then I guess I go Tamio. I must train harder. I think I need to tick up Tamio. Dueling you will be excellent research. Yeah, we already need those. Just so we can put cards into the See, graveyard that can maybe fine. be land. Um So I got two Vraska, two Garrick. I have the four trophies. I probably should just say trophy. Cool. Ugh. Everyone's playing Jeskai. This is our this is our just our first time to play Jeskai today. Our thirteenth match. I fight with the dragons. <laughs> Magnificent. You fight with the dragons laughter? Oh, I've done the hero thing before. Welcome to the feast. All right, so everything but artifacts. We're going to destroy this creature. Um, this land. This planeswalker. All right, so they did not add add mana to be able to instant speed uh, time wipe. This is hardly my worst defeat. I have learned much from my ancestors. All right, they're going to instant speed Faye. Yeah, that was a pr that was a pretty good casualties. Land enchantment, planeswalker creature. Pretty good. And buy it right back. Didn't actually take up a card in our hand. It just was six mana. Yeah, they could be getting planar cleansing, and so I wanted it I definitely wanted to destroy a white source. Going Elder Spell. I have oh, learned a little fair. here. I don't think I really need to wait. They're kind of stuck on land. I think that's worth it. I'm known for my excellent time. I've got it. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. They're gonna just tap my blue source. I will invert the world. We'll play this first. They don't just tap my blue source. And worms rule. Oh, 
<laughs> Surely you see the humor here. I really should have seen that coming. Like they have one blue land and everything else is green black. Well, let's tap the blue. They're like we got to start there. This isn't a fight you can win. I don't know. I think no, I'm doing okay. I'm not making this up as I go. Even if you don't think so, Teferi, I think I'm doing okay. <laughs> yeah, got to play around that auto tapper. Your corpse will make it oh, This looks like a fun new toy. I think a little merriment is in order. So if I if I do not noxious grasp, then they get to instant speed a Clarion. Which would be me drawing cards, of course, with Liliana. This Noxious Grasp just doesn't isn't really going to be doing anything this else, so my worst defeat. I'm just going to not let them, you know, like Clarion after I make this thing a three three and so on. Yeah, I I agree. I think my opponent's deck is better in best of one. Yeah, I would draw two. Your new look is enchanting. I like putting the pressure on them, though. What a good, mindless minion. All right, so I'm going to let them scry, and then I'm going to blow up. Oh, well, they just scry two to the bottom. Oh, well. Still going to blow up their scry. Shuffle those cards back. Let's just do a little... We're going to do a little test here. How many basic planes is my opponent playing? Wow, the answer is zero. If it was one, I mean, I was going to blow up the other one also. The answer is zero. Zero basic planes. That hurts. They were a lousy servant and dead. Okay, so we'll get rid of these Legion's Ends, even though they exiled the one card. Play that, play that, play that. Do 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 do. Play that, play that, play that. Do 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 do. Is Veil vale Summer even good? Like, are they boarding in? Are they boarding in counter spells? Being a Fires of Invention deck. Yeah, I definitely. Yeah, I'm gonna try to ego away Fay of Wishes. Yes, yeah, so they're going to put play in some negates. And trim a couple of the six mana walkers. Hmm. Well, we got double passage, double tomb, double blue green land. And, ah, now just one land. It's fair.
That's fair. Uh, no, there, there's a lot more than... There's more than six blue sources in the deck. Uh, there is other ones down. Like, the, there are more lands off screen that you couldn't see. There's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, plus four, fifteen. There's fifteen blue sources. So I guess they're playing around my discard spell. All right, so what do we got here? Narset, Sarkin, two Sarkins, three Narsets, three Sarkins, all four Teferi, a Kenrith, Four Narset. So four Narset, three Sarkin, a bunch of Teferis, and then the f four Fey of Wishes? Should be four, right? Yep. Four Fey of Wishes. Oh, I didn't I didn't see any counter spells, right? Yeah, nothing nothing to veil, right? All right, get a land back. Shuffle that Ugin. Get a land out of there. I want to do the shuffling before I do the surveilling. I do not know why there's Clarion still in their deck. What? Hey, Pimbot, thank you so much. Question is, do you think Oko is going to get banned this month? I wouldn't be surprised, honestly. If not Oko, I could also see, you know, like, like Once Upon a Time, Hydroid Crisis, just something from blue-green, honestly. I could, I could definitely see something. Meditate and prepare. Do, 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 do. All right, well, they're coming back. They're coming back. I I got nothing over here. They got a bunch of stuff over there. Absolutely, Rankle is playable. Yeah, Rankle is a good card. Haste is very powerful. Yeah, that was, yep, that was like their best card. This, this did not work out very well for me. Now they're going to go grab a counter spell. Outlaw's Merriment.
those blind to tyranny are lost, they just can't see it. <laughs> Surely you see the humor here. I mean, that is what happened in the story. I'm going to turn Kenrith into an elk. I guess you do see the, the humor there. Mm, you're a tricksy one. One bite, and all your cares are gone. <laughs> you are a mighty warrior. I concede. All right, can't kill Oko yet. Yeah, they they drew very well. From whenever we saw what was in their deck, no sword can they draw very well. Your end has Why arrived. elder spell so that they couldn't kill Oko? Oko needed that loyalty. Hey, what's up, Ian? Thanks for E7. Um, that's all I got. Okay, so we know we don't need these Veil of Summers. There's not too much else to really play. I guess we just get our Garrick Liliana, get those things back in here, and then a Grasp. They can kill Teferi or Kenrith. Yeah, we mulled to five and then had all lands after mulling to five. So not not too much we could have done there. Our our seven card hand was all lands, so we go to six and it's no lands. So then we go to go to five. Keep. Four land and a thought erasure. Did not get there. All right, this would be a good time to draw a blue source. Yeah, I'm playing four matches with the decks instead of five because the games are just... This format's just too slow. The games are too long. Like, these are still... Like, they're still, um... Like, two hours. Like, all three of the videos were two hours for four matches. Usually, I try to play four decks in seven hours. But, like, this... Like, we're gonna be... Like, by the time we finish with this, um... This video is going to be like nine hours. Trust me. It's just, these games Don't are worry. so slow. I got this. Your corpse will make him feel the shadows. Now shadow what? For now. Welcome to the feast. <laughs> you went to time against Mono Red yesterday. Oh, that was the problem with me minusing the Nars or minusing the Vraska was if they had if they had Narset. Well, I guess I can kill Narset with this thing. I was gonna say that I I don't get to 
Because I, I kind of wanted to, like, sacrifice food and draw cards. I won't forget our time together. Its loss will serve us. March into battle and make new comrades. Surely you must be banished. Smelly, but effective. An unfortunate. Alright, so I just get to sacrifice this 2 2 to divination to draw two. Waste not, want not. I'm gonna be doing that. I invite you to change your ways. I guess I don't have to attack. Sit back and block the merriment token. I should have done this first and so I have more information. <laughs> Good help is easy to find in war. Yeah, I think I I like the yeah, I like the Jeskai Fires list with Planeswalkers more than the Cavalier list with all these Okos running around. The last time I I tried the Cavalier list, I just had so many Cavaliers get turned into elks and it didn't feel as good. We begin. So I do like the um the Planeswalker version. <laughs> So do I trophy merriment or fires? That's merriment. I don't really have anything to cast with fires because I took it all. Wait, there is a basic planes. Whoa, plot twist. Plot twist. There is a basic planes. Don't be surprised if we meet again. We didn't see that previously. I know 88 own your prowess. I will consume me. A dragon would rather die than lose. It's not so that Drown in the Lock's pretty important because they could have drawn Fey of Wishes and gone Fey for Elder Spell, then Elder Spell. And so finding the, the Drown in the Lock that um, they were a lousy servant then. They can counter that. Pretty important. Alright, 1-0. and oh. Thanks, Mahir. Victory. Okay. Super friends assemble. <laughs> Garlic cursed huntsman. <laughs> uh, that's a garlic cursed. A 
Is that like... What would you say something that's garlic cursed is? Is that like... Pizza? Your breath? Ooh, that's an insult. <laughs> Vampires? Yeah, can we just start making planeswalkers that are really good? Five plus mana again? I know, right? The thing is, for years, like this was years, we would get like a three mana planeswalker, and it wouldn't look that good whenever we would get it. And, but we would also, but we would all say, um, when previewing the card, we all we'd all say, hey, it's it may it may not look great right now, but it's it's a three mana planeswalker. And always three mana planeswalkers have been standard playable. Like they're like having planeswalkers at three mana, like even if this doesn't look like it's that great, it's gonna be good because it's a three mana planeswalker. Now they just print like, you know, Oko, which we we're all like, what the heck? That thing's that thing's amazing, and it's only three mana. And even Royal Scions, like it's very powerful. It has so much loyalty. You know, like these three mana planeswalkers these days that just have so much loyalty. And they're just very obviously very good from the beginning. Um, so I want to go temple. Oh, this is a tough card. I want to go this. I want to go this blue temple so I can have trips blue for Narset. Ritual set's usually good against Temple of Malady. Usually, te I'm, so I'm thinking they're going to be green black adventures with Temple of Malady. Nailed it. You should never play Innkeeper without drawing a card. That's not the, That's something you should never do. I should have just grasped the Paradise Druid. No, I should not. I'm just kind of in like an awkward spot here where I don't really have anything that's good to play. Now I do. Hey, there's all my lands that I was looking for. Contain your rage. Yep. This isn't even that good. I should probably wait on this. Play Oko. It's not even a good ritual of sets. I should just play Oko. That was not a good ritual of set. Because now they have this. Hmm.
Four cards in graveyard. Rip off. Through this land, we are all connected. Rise, my elemental friend. My mind needs a rest. Where are my lands at? Fight on without that was just that was just a really, really bad ritual of set. Like that that play is probably gonna cost me this. Ugh. Close your eyes. Really should have played Oko. Listen to the sounds of the world. And then untapped and said afterwards. We're fit enough to survive. Mind and body should move in unison, like wind and wave. I have just the trick for this. It's a good chance this is lethal. Did did we draw I mean I don't think we drew a land this entire game, did we? I shall miss your company. Like did I just start with four lands in hand? Pretty sure I did. No, I guess I, I guess I started with three lands in hand. We're fit enough to survive. I think we drew one land. That that game hurts. That game's hurts. They mold the six, and then I I legions ended two innkeepers. And exiled them on turn two. And I still lost that game. That That's a game that... This is a tough matchup. Like, the green-black adventures, their very best match are control decks. Like, this is a this is a bad matchup for me. And so to lose that to lose this game... After they mulligan and I get that Legion's end, that's a really tough game to lose. Like, the Ritual of Soot... <clears throat> definitely cost me that. If I play Oko first, there's a good chance that I could have won that. If I would have, you know, obviously it didn't look good there, but if I would have had an Oko that I would have activated for like five turns and also killed more creatures with Ritual of Soot, could have been completely different. But then again, they had, they had the Planeswalker removal, so who knows? I'll probably still lose. Um, no, I, I kept my seven. I scried that island to the bottom with a scry land. But anyway, um, a lot of planeswalkers over there. No. Oh, what did I just do? Give me this Liliana. Ugh. That lag took one of my six mana planeswalkers and I thought I was going to run out of time.
Well, I th- this basic forest with the double thought erasure is awkward, but this is a good hand. I'm not mulliganing it. Yeah, Masker Girl, if you can guarantee that Masker Girl is a board wipe, she's better than Ritual of Soot, but cost another mana is not always guaranteed to be a board wipe. This hasn't worked out well. There's just there's no lands. Yeah, I probably should have just killed the giant the last turn. I kind of wanted to see their hand and everything, but I so probably just couldn't afford that, honestly. They should... Yeah, I was going to say they should definitely do that part. I can turn that thing into an elk, but I don't have the time to do that. kills me. Yeah, that was a really disappointing match with our land draws. There's 26 lands in the deck. That's really disappointing. Oh well, that's still, like I said, that's still a, a pretty tough matchup for us, but the fact that we that we lost that first game that one really hurt. It was a pretty tough chance for us to win after losing the first game.
All right, gonna take the lands. We'll get a land out of the deck here. And yeah, it's better to do this at their end step. I'm getting the island because of Narset. I know that I need two green for casualties, but this is, you know, six mana. I'm pretty sure we'll find another green source by then. But I'm getting the extra island because of Narset and also because, you know, like Thought Erasure. Like we have like the blue black two drops. Like that. We're on Treachery, Oko, Vraska to remove their stuff. But Trophy just is just reliable. To tyranny, one bite, and all your cares are gone. Hmm. Yeah, I see how it is. See on the <clears throat> They already got tons of mana. Uh, this is the Snackrifice deck. <laughs> Your island is more stylish than Blue Ley Line. It does look pretty similar to the Blue Ley Line. It's a nice looking island, though. Alright, so it's not my list, because they're playing Corvold. Which, Corvold's a good card. I just couldn't really fit it in the list that I wanted. So they... Um... Let's get rid of these. Like, if I'm them, I'm not playing Cauldron Familiar that turn. I'm keeping the Fable Passage here, and I'm going to use... I guess it doesn't matter too much, but I want to use like my Fable Passages after my Corvold to draw more cards. But yeah, they have these extra foods to sacrifice. Everything. I wish I had six mana next turn. I wish I could kill this Corvold next turn. Alright, still possible. Draw a trophy. I train every day. No one is more eh, I guess we get this prepare. thing. All right, well, they're going to draw a lot of lands. I guess I may not... Or, sorry, they're going to draw a lot of cards. They're going to draw a lot of cards. I guess I may not actually have double green by turn six. Yeah, Corvold's awesome. Like, maybe I should be playing Corvold instead of Wicked Wolf. I was not prepared for this. They're doing tra Trail of Crumbs is my favorite. That could be where I could fit Corvold in is instead of Wicked Wolf. I don't I don't have room for both. This thing's drawn five cards though. I mean if it's turned into an elk, it still draws a card. Whenever you play it. <laughs> uh, temple. I don't want you.
All right, Gnarus, have a good night. Yep, and it keeps the counters. Yeah, I guess I could be I guess I could replace Wicked Wolf with it. It is just so cool. The, the four color food that we played earlier is this is what my opponent's playing right now. That's the deck list I'm talking about. Just a pretty awkward deck for us here. So I don't really love Noxious Grasp because it just, just you know, Oko. I guess it. I mean, Corv. They just have played Corvold too. So I guess there's that. Play those. Everything is so mediocre. <laughs> All of our options, they're so mediocre. They, <laughs> there's nothing great. All right, land. Gonna need to hit our land drops. Okay. It's still not land.
I would rather kill the goose with Drown in the Lock than Legion's End, though, but it's not a land, and I, I just can't. I can't keep it. Even that last game, we kept, you know, I kept a five lander, and I couldn't play my Casualties of War on turn six after keeping a five lander last game. This is just so many games in a row where we can't draw lands. It's crazy. So many games in a row. Yay. It was only like our sixth card that we saw. But we got there. Double Corvold? What am I supposed to do about the second one? Uh, and they had a two lander also, and they just hit their fifth land drop. Uh, all right, Seracles, good night. This isn't great. Punish for playing Elder Spell and not Noxious Grasp. If if you want the song, that's that's how you find the song. If you want just my playlist, that's the playlist. So I got punished for waiting on Assassin's Trophy because now they have the Fable Passage that they get to use to draw a card now. So punish there. Kind of always punished. I mean, they would be able to draw that card anyway, because they they would still be able to just play the other Corvold and play their land anyway. It's not like I could could stop them from drawing with having a second Corvold. So they got Wicked Wolf also. Yeah, these Corvolds have looked sweet. Thanks, Molly, Molly Lynn. Yeah, that was the... Molly Lynn said the real song. That was Tash Sultana. I don't know what MTG Bot was saying there. Open your heart to the magic that dances around. Welcome to the feast. Good at what I do, and what I do is win. May we meet again? I won't forgive this. Or not. 
Did you see that Vraska animation? Like with the minus, it had like two eyes. I've never seen that before. So the reason why I went Vraska here instead of Elder Spell, even though Elder Spell is like not really doing anything else, was a very greedy play for sure. I was really hoping that they were going to Murderous Rider, just like Murderous Rider that and then attack, um, attack me. Because I, I wanted to get that out of out of their hand for Garrick. It was a very greedy play for sure. I will invert the world to watch kings grovel and worms rule. I think a little merriment is in order. All right, so we got destroyed here. Corvold looked amazing. Drew so many cards. We saw them still have Wicked Wolf, but not Vraska. Those are like the other two cards that have at the top end. I do like how Corvold you can find, you know, you get to find Corvold off of um, Once Upon a Time. Yeah. We are the 26 land deck that never draws lands. That is us. All right, here. Honestly, I probably should just Fabled Passage for an island, though, because of all of our Thought Erasures. That was probably bad. Okay. That's fine. Um... We'll be able to grasp Oko. Walk with me, sing with me. I will enlighten. This is my cue to exit. One bite, and all your cares are gone. I hope they play like another goose and a paradise druid. Yeah, I want I want to get a really good ritual set. Nope. <sighs> I'm certain you're quite charmed to meet. Welcome to the feast. Hey Space, what's up? Oh dear. You have spark double and you didn't cast it? What are you doing with your life? I mean, I know why they didn't cast it. They didn't cast it because... <clears throat> I 
they didn't cast it because uh, if I had, I had just had open mana. So if I have removal for Oko, um, then they just kind of waste their spark double. I mean, that's why they didn't cast it there. Hey, what's up, Atrian? Thanks for that Twitch Prime sub. I appreciate that. Let's broaden your existence. Thank you so much there, our 34th. Wonderful sub of the day. All right, Questing Beast going to do it. Good draw. All right, Tail's End, Downfall, Grasp. Maybe not this Legion's End. Um... So that's 63. Maybe not Tail's End. Tail's End. Not sure if they're going Crasis or not. But like, if they have, they're going, they're Bant, so it's like likely to Fairy. And Teferi, I don't really want to have Tails End, of course, because then we can't play Instance. Let's cut an end for a Soot. Okay, one of these cards, I don't know which one. Go to Narset. Yep, there you go, Zufalus, you found him. I did not try the Artisan event. I'm planning on doing that to get the card styles. I haven't tried it yet. Um, as far as I know, the best thing to be doing is adventures. Yeah, you get... See, like, this is so tough to, like... Like, I want to Noxious Grasp this Goose, but then if they just have an Oko in two turns, I won't have any removal for Oko. And Oko just completely wins the game left unchecked. And kill the Goose. Before, earlier today, I didn't kill Goose and I killed the Oko on turn, turn three. Or turn two. I killed the Oko on turn two, and uh, the Goose just kept adding a lot of mana, like, the whole game and stuff, and I don't know, I was a little too slow, and so I'm going to try getting rid of Goose and seeing what happens. You did Golgari Adventures, went 5-0 earlier this morning. Yeah, it's I've heard, so yeah. Golgari Adventures. Probably the best thing, because, yeah, you get Innkeeper, of course, is incredible, and and the Lucky Clover. All right, no Oko. So that's good.
We'll downfall the wolf. My prowess is on keep an open mind. <laughs> There's always an echo. Yeah, one mana risen reef. Real good. I protect that which cannot protect itself. The land shall conquer you. This was overwhelming. The undead make great minions. Loyal. <laughs> right. We'll see how this works. Gonna try to play Liliana and Elder Spell the Nissa. Tis greedy. Suppose. Other options, you know, if I just Elder Spell last turn. Oh, they just have Hydra Crisis. That's cool. All right, so I guess they do have they do have crisis in their deck. Figure that one out. Back off. Waste not, want not. They drew a counter spell. I'm pretty dead. In the land. Good. Good. Anyone who's more foolish? The fool, the fool who surely you must be famished. Well, I had a good turn, but not good enough. Strange and magnificent world. Harness the elements. Bant haste. No, well, this was unpleasant. I'm playing a ton. Hey, there we go. Uh, what I was what what I was saying is I'm playing a ton of six mana planeswalkers, so we could just draw another. Foxes, <laughs> I hunt bigger game. I'll take that land, thank you. I found something for you to dote on. Stay on the trail. So I'm hoping we get to ultimate Garrick and have this temple be able to beat down Nyssa. I want them to attack Oko with both their creatures. Be wary of the ground you walk on. No, I don't have something else. Power 
villagers through these lands. Bleh. The land fights for us. I think I just have that one elder spell. That is not what I wanted. I did not want them to attack Eric. Garrick's gonna be able to stay alive though. Both these Nisses are at seven? They just played this Nissa, it's already at seven. Ugh. I was gonna say I could do six I could turn the this temple into a six six. And do six to one of these Nissas. Kill the copy first. Do not I don't. I don't have any elder spells in my deck. There's just this one. I mean, I, I guess I have Tamio. Tamio, yeah. I, so I need to draw Tamio because Tamio would would be able to play at minus grab elder spell. Ritual of Soot would be would not be bad either. Hey, another land. I would obviously I went with the like it's a lot safer for keeping Garrick alive just to make two wolves, but we're kind of in desperation mode here with them ultimating this Nissa. Would I not elk the land? If I I mean if I elk it, I do, I don't get to attack with it ever. It's a better blocker, but it doesn't have Vigilance anymore, so I never get to attack with it, and it didn't actually kill either Nyssa. It's like doing doing 3 damage to a Nyssa or doing 6 damage to a Nyssa. I mean, well, I, I, would, I, would have been able to do, I would have done 0 damage to Nyssa if I would have elked to the land. But, I mean, I guess the second Nyssa ultimate doesn't matter when you already ultimate the first. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. That draw, drawing a card is like the line that could help us win. Because yeah, Nissa ultimates basically impossible. The curse is affecting me more than I thought. I guess I could have just blocked. This thing's gonna die anyway. Doesn't doesn't matter if I would have blocked though.
Double Nissa. Pretty strong. We finally started drawing lands. So that's good news. There were lands in the deck. We finally started to draw them. You know, we, we went, you know, like so many games in a row where we didn't draw lands. That we kept on losing because we couldn't draw lands. And we finally got to draw lands there. So I don't know. Our, our deck's pretty close. It's, you know, one in three is... Again, there's just not very big samples here with just going four matches. Um, but, but it's not like it, it felt... I don't think my deck really felt underpowered or anything. Um, I just had really bad draws. All four of those matches. Like, kind of going back and, and watching them, I, I feel like my opponents just got to, like, you know, if you kind of, like, think of, like, all right, what would be good... What would be a good turn for my opponent to have? It's just like they kept on having good turns every turn, and I just didn't. I had a lot of mana troubles. And that's standard, you know? Like, that's just going to happen. Like, the cards are good. And, um, yeah. I don't know exactly like what to change about the deck, except for probably need more stuff for Cauldron Familiar and Witch's Oven. That's just becoming more and more and more popular, so I think you just got to have more stuff for that. Um, I know some people think that Spyglass is like the way to stop Witch's Oven, but you have to have multiple Spyglass because those those decks, the Witch's Oven decks, are also playing Okos, and so if you just have Witch's Oven, if you have Spy, if you're playing a Spyglass Witch's Oven, we have to Spyglass Oko also because they'll just turn the Spyglass into a three three. So you have to like Spyglass Oko first and then Spyglass Witch's Oven, and it's hard to have two Spyglasses. So I, I don't like that plan. Cry the Carnarium I like more because you just need one Cry the Carnarium, and that that gets rid of the cats. Um, but yeah, that's, that felt pretty tough. We played against three decks that were very good against control decks, though. Between that, that four-color sacrifice with Corvold for a lot more card draw, and they had Trail of Crumbs. They had a lot of card advantage. Like, that's a good anti-control deck. And then the Black-Green Sacrifices we talked about was a good anti-control deck. And then the Bant opponent, Nissa Krasis. It's hard playing control <laughs> these days. But anyway, that's Soul Tide Control. Um, if you're trying this deck out later on YouTube, let me know how it's going for you. If you're making any changes or anything like that, uh, let me know how that's going for you over there. And of course, also hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. I'd appreciate both of those too. But that's it here for Soul Tide Control. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.